This is a good example of what not to do in the landscape. Um, you can see here there's a pretty vast expanse of a bed area in a front yard, but it's in a more of a natural setting. So um, here in southeastern PA, we have a pretty decent problem with deer uh, coming to browse on the plants. And a lot of these plants in here uh, do exhibit deer browsing, you can see right here at the ends of the stems. To focus in right, that's an example of a deer browse. Um, here's another example of a plant that has been browsed and essentially killed by deer. There's one, two, three, almost four, five. This is a great example of deer browsing see right here the kind of grayish brown um, it almost looks like a really poorly cut branch but you can see the kind of the rugged edge of the, of the stems of the plants and uh, the deer just went to town here um, here's another one here and basically the way that this landscape should have looked is if the right plants were planted here deer resistant plants all oh, this should have been real nice and full and uh, at this point in the season with the types of plants that were planted here um, we should have given the client nice nice color a um, little bit more of an intimate feel in terms of privacy and uh, aesthetics um, but the the types of plants that were selected here just aren't the right plants to use the other good example here of what not to do is to always take a soil test. Um, you can plant any plant you want in the right location, but if the soil is not right, if the pH is a little bit off, uh, or if they're lacking nutrients and you put the plant in, um, it exhibits uh, uh, some decline or it just doesn't grow to the way it's, uh, oh, the way it's, the way it's supposed to grow. Um, so what we are going to do here at Chris Horse for Landscaping is take an inventory of what types of plants that the deer have browsed on and also take soil samples of different areas on the property, uh, in the beds and in the turf. And uh, <clears throat> we have an in-house soil testing system. So we will test that for the proper nutrients and the pH levels and then suggest to the client what needs to be done uh, in order to correct this if there is any uh, conditions in the soil that aren't optimal for plants uh, we would come in and amend the soil and then come in and plant deer resistant plants so again uh, as you can see here at this point um, the, the bed is just really looking bare and sparse and that's because of the deer uh, coming in and, and eating the plants and uh, as well there there might be some soil conditions here that really aren't uh, ideal for the types of plants to uh, to be put in here. The other issue is that these big uh, <clears throat> mature looking trees um, a lot of times suck up the nutrients that these smaller plants need to, to grow and thrive. So again, proper plant selection, um, you know, these, these bigger trees have um, some implications on the pH and the, and the soil. So again, we would come in here uh, based on the soil results and amend the soil to, uh, to where they need be uh, to get these plants uh, grown. And what we're going to do is just come in and, I mean, all these plants have to get ripped out. You can see here another one, just a great example of a deer browsing on the plant. And this is, this is what it looks like when a deer browses on a plant right here. So. Uh, if you have any uh, concerns and issues about deer browsing on your plants or if you think your, your plants have them browsed, give Chris Orser Landscaping a call and we'll gladly come out to assess your plants.